hello guys it's been a while since i've remembered to take like a vlog clip of comic work and uh, i thought i should do it and now i'm doing it <laughs> so yeah tada um i'm working on the first page of journey upstream and uh, it's a uh, prologue page so yeah the art style is not looking like my usual one because the prologue has like this kind of uh, i guess like a storybook style to it is the best way to describe it so it's very interesting to yeah try to figure out how to make it look um, interesting and simple but not horrible at the same time <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys anymore. I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, I'll probably show a little bit more to like uh, Substack subscribers at the end of the month, but still keep it non spoilery for everyone. I guess you can kind of see the little preview image in the side there, but it's too tiny to make out what's even going on. But yeah, first page in the works and it's very intimidating because obviously like the first pages of a comic is the most, do I want to say most important? In a way it is as far as grabbing people's attention. It needs to be easy to read, fun to look at or whatever you need to make people actually want to keep reading so yeah that's a lot of pressure and obviously you don't want to look back at the beginning of your comic in one year and be just horrified at uh, all about it <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm working on and um, I'll catch up with you guys later I suppose I also finished uh, quite recently this really large illustration that I did for both you know character design not really exploration but trying to get used to all of the character designs a little bit more before the comic starts and also just for some style testing trying to get uh, used to the type of line art and coloring style that I want to use maybe maybe it's a little bit too detailed for a comic just to be able to do it you know efficiently but on the other hand does it need to be that efficient maybe it's okay if there's a little bit of a slower update pace if I can get it to look really nice but yeah uh, this is just a tiny piece of it. I will post the finish, finished illustration later somewhere once uh, once it's time. But yeah, I was really happy with how this one turned out. So I will be very excited to share it with you guys. Hi guys, it is Voice Over Minna here and with a little bit of a random random drawing footage <laughs> i didn't have anything uh, comic related recorded and i needed something for the end of the video so what we have here is some footage from a live stream from a few weeks ago we were doing fake eevee illusions you know fake pokemon and um, what I was doing was a apple type evolution <laughs> design. So that's the drawing footage I had at hand. So it's what you guys will get. And just for this little wrap up. Uh, so what did I have on my list? I have my literal list here on my left. Uh, first thing is that the testimony comic that I had been working on this past year is now finished. It is readable over on my website 
uh, which is hummingfluff.com uh, free as always as my web comics always are and um, yeah it's over there I'm pretty happy with it and I'm also glad that other people have also enjoyed it and that means that I am now 100% started with working on journey upstream as uh, you guys saw in the beginning of the vlog just uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, you started working on the first pages. I am now done eight pages of the prologue. So I'm actually trying to get enough pages drawn so that I can start posting maybe in January. The start date that I have on the website is currently, say, in February, but I might start in January. Substack subscribers will get early access to pages. So I think I will post the first section of the prologue, so like the first seven pages. I'm planning on to post those in December, end of December. Is it December now? Uh, no, it is tomorrow starts December. So I can't say this month, <laughs> next month. Um, so yeah, in a few weeks, Substack subscribers will get to see the first chunk of pages and they will be going publicly up on the website, which is journeyupstreamcomic.com, I think, in January. Basically, when I get back from Christmas holidays, which is stressing me out a lot, but uh, just got to try to not think about that. Uh, but yeah, that's the update on the comic stuff. Um, there probably won't be another vlog, I don't think, until January. Because I don't foresee myself to have enough time to do anything for the next couple of weeks. And then I have to leave. <laughs> leave home. Uh, uh, but the other stuff that has happened, just garden updates from the last couple of uh, months I guess. Uh, first thing is that uh, I ended up harvesting all of my tomatoes and they all ended up green on the vine I think you say and uh, I thought it was like a lost harvest like I didn't get any tomatoes to actually eat but it turned out that you can just put them indoors and they don't necessarily even need light, they just need heat once they're green. And they will turn red and they're perfectly edible and just normal tomatoes. And that worked out. All of the, or almost all of the tomatoes were ready, on, ready enough to actually ripen. So I got a bunch of tomatoes and I made some homemade tomato pasta sauce, which was very yummy. I have some of it frozen in my freezer right now, so I might eat some of it in the coming weeks and months. And the other thing is that obviously winter has started, everything has frosted over since about a month back. So I had to just prepare everything in time for snow to come, which basically meant um, protecting the roses. I had to put some mesh around them so that hopefully they don't get eaten by anything like rabbits or whatever and um, also like frost protection like branches and uh, whatever that brown stuff is that you put on. It's like turf. Do you call it turf? Turve. I don't know what it's called in English. It's like Peat. Oh, that's what I think it's called. It's called peat. This is dry peat. You put it on and it's supposed to keep them from not completely dying, like the roots and everything, during the winter. So we'll see if they survive. Obviously this was my first year of having roses and I don't know if the roots got... Ex <coughs> a little bit of a cough. If the roots got... Ex 
established enough to survive. Uh, so I'm really hoping for a warm winter. For many reasons. <laughs> I think everyone in, in Europe is hoping for a really warm winter this year. So yeah, I guess another bonus is hopefully my roses also survive. But um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to update you guys on. Um, keep an eye on the Journey Upstream website for the beginning of the year and um, if you do want to support my work the substack is currently the only mm, the most practical way I guess to do it I will I do plan to eventually have like maybe like a um, print shop for Journey Upstream and stuff like that once the comic gets established but um, yeah other than that I can only say just wait for the comic to start I'm very excited for it and I hope you guys will also be once it starts next year and I will see you all later for the next vlog whenever that is alright I'll get back to work bye bye